Gentlemen, you guys can acknowledge us. Ooh, who is this? Cool. Oh, I'm yes. sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a man of God. I can't do this. Oh, no. Yeah, I love those people. I pray for them. I would never do anything to hurt them or condemn them. But men are not supposed to dress like women. I'm not going to go along, can go along with that. It's time to stand up and be a man of God. Oh, man. We definitely need a lot more grandpas like Isaac. All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. Like and subscribe and share it with a friend. And here we go. Somebody sent me the story and wanted my reaction to it. I've never reacted to anything on this channel. Well, there's a first time for everything. So here we go. Let's watch it together. Why don't we just pair up? I'm not into uh, touching, I'm, I'm okay? Here. I'm not let okay. me put that out front. I'm no touching, no touching. No touching. I won't touch you. I was paired up with Isaac. He was like, no touching. I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. The music will start. The boys will turn around. So, right. gentlemen, let's turn. Gorgeous. And then we start walking. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then maybe let's look at the gentleman. Gentlemen, you guys can acknowledge us. Ooh, who is this? Cool. Oh, I'm yes. sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a man of God. I can't do this. Oh, no. I love those people. I pray for them. I would never do anything to hurt them or condemn them. But men are not supposed to dress like women. I'm not going to go along, go along with that. It's time to stand up and be a man of God. Yes, Grandpa Isaac, it's time to stand up and be a man of God. The courage that this grandpa has to say this on a TV show. I mean, you have to be convicted of the truth of God's word. Now, let's analyze this a little bit. As you guys could see, there were six men on this TV show, not three men and three women. Those other three quote unquote women are not really women. They're just drag queens or grown men cause dressing like women. Now, we know what a man is and what a woman is. Come on. This godless culture, though, just simply refuses to acknowledge the simple fact. It's not complex. It's not rocket science. A man is a man and a woman is a woman. It's very simple to understand. So simple that a little child with just enough understanding can actually explain that. Now, listen to this little child explaining to Steve Harvey's audience with simple understanding of one-on-one -on -one physiology what a man is and what a woman is. So what is this right here? The pelvis. It's the only bone in the body that's gender specific which means it's different in boys and dogs. Is it? Yes. The pelvis is job to protect the organs is for digesting and reproduction, which means throwing babies. As opposed to grown adults with PhDs and law degrees that cannot even make sense of what a man or a woman is, that little child explained it beautifully. What exactly is a woman? Well, it's it, for me, it's it's actually a really simple answer, and that's a person who identifies as a woman. But what are they identifying as? I, as a woman. I so, so what is that? As a woman. Since anyone can identify as a woman, it's not a verifiable biological and physiological fact anymore. It's just whatever you feel like identifying as. Do you believe that there, uh, men can get pregnant? No, I don't think <laughs> so. You are denying that trans people like this thing. And that leads to violence. Is this how you run your classroom? Are students allowed to question you, Absolutely. or are they also treated like this? Where no, you, no, no, they're, they're told that they're at opening up people to oh, violence. We have a good time questioning. in my class. You should join. Oh, I bet. You might learn a lot. Wow, I, I would learn a lot. I've learned you, a lot I just know. in this exchange. That's the, That's the type of insanity that people actually want you to believe as truth. This only shows you how lost people are in their sin and what kind of work the church needs to be doing in preaching the gospel in the whole counsel of God. Because if God has spoken in his word and defined what a man is and what a woman is, then we ought to obey. Now, going back to what Grandpa Isaac did and said, there are a lot of lessons we can learn from his experience. Number one, never compromise the truth of God's word in order to get along with the culture. A man who does not stand for truth is a weak man, a man without principle and without honor. Because once you start compromising your belief system, then there's absolutely nothing left for you to stand for. The compromise is much more serious than that. It is to exchange the truth for that which is not truth. In Romans chapter 1 verse 25, the Bible tells us that they exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worship and serve the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. So in Romans chapter 1, those are the people that God has given over, given over to sexual and homosexual lust. So even if you're not involved in that type of sin, if you have compromised the truth, then you're just like these people. They have exchanged the truth 
about God for something that is not true. So when you compromise the truth for a lie, you are literally doing the same exact thing. That's it, number two. As Christians, we should never be afraid to speak or practice righteousness. If we say that we know Christ, then that needs to be reflected in our behavior, our language, in our association. Now, when I talk about our association, I'm not saying that we should separate ourselves from the world. Not at all. Christ puts us in the world for a reason. In fact, Christ puts us in the world to display righteousness and to call the world to repentance by the proclamation of the gospel. Matthew 5 verses 14 through 16 say, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. The way that we shine our light is by how we speak righteousness and practice righteousness. And Grandpa Isaac did just that in this clip. He couldn't compromise the truth and he couldn't stay there and approve of what is immoral and ungodly. So he had to go. The third and final lesson we can learn from Grandpa Isaac's experience is to be truthfully loving. Did you hear what he said? Let's play it again. Yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. I can't do this. I can't do it. I'm oh. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a man of God. I can't do this. Oh, no. Yeah, I love those people. I pray for them. I would never do anything to hurt them or condemn them. But men are not supposed to dress like women. I'm not going to along, go along with that. It's time to stand up and be a man of God. According to the world, to love someone is to accept everything that they do, even if it leads them to destruction. That's not love, that's hate. It's similar to seeing someone sitting in a burning building and then they tell you that they do not believe that the building is burning. What do you do? Do you go about your day and wish them well? No, you drag them out of there if it's possible, even against their own will. It's exactly the same thing with the truth of the gospel. The sinner hates the gospel. He hates the God of the gospel. He hates the message of the gospel. He will in some cases hate you for telling him about the message of the gospel. And in some cases, you might even die for proclaiming the gospel. But you know what? Preach it anyway. Stand for the truth of the gospel anyway. The apostle Paul preached the gospel to his death. All the apostles for that matter, with the exception of John, were martyred for the gospel. The person who has been saved by the gospel cannot do otherwise but to preach the gospel which alone can deliver wretched and lost sinners from the bondage of sin and bring them captive to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So let us not compromise ourselves in order to be liked and accepted by the culture. Never be afraid to speak and practice righteousness and be truthfully loving. Speak the truth in love. Once you have proclaimed the truth of the gospel and warned the sinner, then your job is done. Their blood is no longer on your hands. They have been warned. And for this, we thank Grandpa Isaac for his courage and his boldness in standing for the truth. But when it comes to you who are listening to this message, I wonder how many times you have been warned and ignored the call of God. You probably think that there is something better for you in the world than the salvation that is found in Christ Jesus. So you cling to that which you think is better than Christ until it's not enough. Then you have to find something else to give your life meaning. A life without Christ is meaningless in the end. It doesn't really matter how much money, how much pleasure, how much fun you think you're having. In the end, it means absolutely nothing because you have not Christ. Jesus says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? The answer is nothing. And this nothingness will be paid for eternity in hell for rejecting his son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross to save sinners like you and me. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Anyone who repents of their sin, however dark and however bad you think it might be, Christ Jesus has the power to cleanse you. He has the power to justify you and wash you of all your sin. You simply need to repent and put your trust in Him and Him alone. He will make you a new man. He will give you a new heart and a new mind. This is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let me know if you guys want me to react to more videos like that. If not, well, we'll continue to do what we always do with Loving Christ, John Henry with the Gospel of Christ. I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.